Now leave the lights on. Yeah, it doesn't film well otherwise. Okay. Well, last week you saw someone play guitar. It was really nice. And this is, I can get it to you a hundred times less attractive than that. But well, essentially, last week we talked about design. And I brought up a point about minimalism and over design, right? So this is a website I constructed about uh, over the summer. It's basically a 3D globe that's using some of the cutting edge web techniques to create this globe, add texture, and you can interact with it, right? You can also see that the world is orbiting around Sun, you have the moon that's moving around the earth, right? Very realistic rendering. But then it's a great design, but it's a little over design, right? In the sense that it works great, as you can see, it pretty much crashed in Mason's computer, right? So, in the sense that we're trying to show that we can take news and finding content to read online to the next level by adding this reading aspect. When it gets to an over design process where not every machine or browser can actually handle this level. Anyone can name some examples of over design? Right. So we actually see examples of over design a lot. So like water bottles that are just way too curvy than they need to be, and they have all these filters built into them that really don't work. Right? Or we see cars like the Rolls Royce where it's just three hundred thousand dollars for all this stuff that you really don't need the car. Right? So my argument is that you know we have to find this balance between minimalism and just the right amount of elegance right, in design, where you get something that doesn't use complete, loses complete utility when you're trying to expand it to multiple platforms. So that's pretty much my intuition to the website.